This picture illustrates the left side of the dashboard to the left of the steering column. Using a plastic pry tool, lever off the small wood trim strip above the headlight switch. You do not need to remove the steering wheel to do this job. I have done so for photographic purposes only. There are two pins, as indicated by the green arrows, for mounting the small wood trim strip, so lever up on each side of them. Using a plastic pry tool, lever off the dashboard left side end panel. Remove the left side panel from the side of the dashboard by pulling the rear of it out towards the left and then pull it towards you to release it from the rear. Remove the four T30 torque fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Pull up on the left corner of the dashboard panel slightly and remove the T30 torque fastener for the headlight switch. Lift up on the headlight switch to unseat it from the lower left dash panel and pull it out. Unplug the single electrical connector by pushing in on the locking tab, green arrow, and sliding the locking lever, yellow arrow, in the direction of the blue arrow. Then, with the locking lever fully released, pull the electrical connection in the direction of the blue arrow. Installation is the reverse of the removal procedures. Push the electrical connector in with the locking lever in the fully released position and lever it back into its original position. This will draw the electrical connector in. Seat the bottom of the headlight switch into the left side lower dash panel and tighten the mounting screw. Position the upper dashboard panel and tighten the four fasteners, two on the side and two under the wood trim strip. Fit the front of the dashboard left side panel into the front of the dashboard and then push it to the right until it snaps into place. Verify the metal tabs are lined up with their slots in the dashboard before snapping them into place. Line up the two pins on the wood trim strip into the metal clips on the dashboard and push it in until it is fully seated. Cycle the ignition key and verify that the headlights work. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.